Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading and today we are doing a candle wax reading. So this reading is uh, to channel general messages for those of you who have uh, something to hear right now, something that is uh, guided from the universe, that is guided from divine energies and probably you are seeking some kind of a validation from something. So let's begin. We have one pile and this is a pink candle so these are mixed messages for uh, some of you so pick only take only what resonates and leave the rest so let's start by clearing the energy with the sound bath take a few deep breaths and listen to the sound And that's it. So let's light. Some of you might have a lot of scattered thoughts. I'm picking up like you have a whole lot of goals. You have a whole lot of ideas, a lot of scattered uh, ideas. It's like you want to do this, you want to do that. A lot of things happening in your mind at the same point of time. It could be that you're not able to focus on any one idea or any one thing because of that. You want to accomplish a lot of things and um, you have a lot of ideas is what I'm picking up on. I also feel that um, initially the energy is going to be very fast, fast, fast. Probably you're working on a lot of projects. You are doing a lot of things. It's going to be very busy. And, you know, the energy, the momentum is going to be very fast. But slowly things start calming down and, uh, you know, the, the momentum comes down like really drastically. The speed comes down and that is happening because uh, you are streamlining your work or you are strategizing in a way that you can uh, accomplish those goals that you have in your mind more skillfully. Therefore, uh, you don't rush. You are much more streamlined and uh, much more organized is what I feel. Initially, 
you might be feeling overwhelmed because there's a lot of haphazard energy, a lot of chaotic movement all over the place, not able to manage what you have. But now, probably a week from now, you are going to find your focus. You are going to understand or you're going to have a lot of clarity in what is it that you need to centralize on? What is it that you need to make your focus on? You are going to receive um, some kind of a spirit guidance or validation from a spirit. Sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. Some kind of a validation from spirit that this is what you should focus on. This is, uh, this is what has the scope for you to grow. This is what uh, is worth growing because this is what has a lot of potential to blow up into something big, something um, more fulfilling, opening up your heart chakra. I see that there is a lot of focus on expanding your heart chakra. And this is happening by finding what you love doing, by finding, by realizing what is that you need to work on or what is it that you need to focus on and you find your center okay i find you centering your energy in a way that you are more balanced and more fulfilled you enjoy what you are doing you started with having a lot of ideas you started with having a lot of things to do and not really understanding what is your thing what is your calling because you really had that desperate push to understand what is it that you need to do, what is it that uh, that gives you happiness, that helps you expand your heart chakra, that helps you feel that energy of fulfillment. And finally, that goal is accomplished because spirit is helping you find your focus, find your anchor. Uh, you feel anchored to what is it that you need to do and there are angelic beings that are helping you realize that. I feel that your energy is very centered and grounded moving on um, the next week from whenever you watch this video. Um, the second week after this watching this video is what I'm seeing is giving you a lot of stability and a knowing that this is what you need to continue doing. I see that you're working on blooming something. It's like it's flourishing like how a small bud blooms into a beautiful flower something very beautiful for some I've, i'm i'm channeling that you know you're doing a lot of small small things something here something there probably you are doing a little bit of everything but in a, in a week you are going to understand that all of it that you have been uh, working on, all these small, small things that you've been working on, make sense. Because you get a collective picture of what all you have been doing and why you have been doing. So that gives you a very, very, uh, a feeling of, satisfaction that your work your time and energy didn't go waste you were pulled to do all these small small activities because in totality you know the entire picture together is worth it so that's the clarity i'm getting for uh, a lot of you you are achieving a huge sense of direction of focus uh, in your love life or in your uh, in life in general or work whatever it may apply to you in your life and 
I also see that you are building a solid foundation with uh, this knowing because uh, this clarity that you're going to receive is going to build that, that it's going to give you that boost of confidence, right? It's going to give you that strength that you were looking for that, yes, this is what it's going to look like in a few years from now or in a few months from now. So I am full on boosted with confidence that, yes, this is the path that I need to follow. And this is the solid foundation I have to grow on something, something, something that is going to last a long time. It's like that. Uh, it's like having a feeling of building a strong foundation before you go ahead and build your house where you're going to spend the rest of your life. So that's the kind of energy that I feel. So initially you started with something very, very small, like a droplet of idea, a droplet of um, inspiration and, you know, doing a lot of small, small, probably it felt very uh, meaningless at that point of time. But eventually, very, very shortly, I see that this energy is happening very fast. So that's why I have been saying within a week from now. So I see that you get that confidence, that boost of confidence and that validation that this is your solid foundation to build on something long lasting to build on something that is meant for you. And that is what it is. Okay, while it settles down, let me pick up some cards for you and see what else do you need to know. What else do you need to know? Whoever tuned in and found these messages helpful, what is it that you're working on? What is this energy regarding? What is this about? What is this about? In case you're wondering what cards I'm using, I'm using my new deck uh, called the Old Style Tarot. And it's published by U.S. Games. Uh, what is it about? Nine of Pentacles. I knew it. It's about uh, understanding how you can build your wealth. It's about what is it that you should do to build your financial stability? What should you do to feel wealthy? What should you do to attract more abundance? What should you do so that you feel financially comfortable, financially strong, financially stable? It's all about money. It's all about materialistic uh, confidence, stability, having that luxury of time uh, to enjoy what you do apart from your work. You are not... Uh, you're not focusing on building a career where it is work, work, work. You are trying to build a career where you can enjoy your leisure time and have something that is built on, uh, you know, an automated system of income, you know, where uh, you set up something and money comes to you automatically without you having to struggle without you having to work on a daily basis. For example, it's about, um, you know, it's about building a career where uh, you are earning on royalty, okay? Like how writers write a piece of uh, script and uh, they earn a lifelong, uh, you know, amount of royalty for that kind of writing. So that kind of stuff. So you are trying to monetize your skills in a way that you don't need to work forever and uh, you can enjoy your free time. You have a lot of leisure time. So that's why you're building a foundation for your later years. You're building a strong financial stable uh, structure for yourself. 
by setting a strong grounds where you can attract immense amount of wealth without feeling exhausted without feeling burdened without feeling the heaviness of having to work even if you don't want to so i see that you want to enjoy your life you want to go on vacations you want to enjoy the luxury that money can buy you without having to slog for it and that's why you are implementing a lot of ideas into practicality to see what works for you what is going to give you this kind of financial independence that you're looking for so it's all about uh work and you are very very clear in your mind that you want to be rational you don't want to try anything that is impractical that is uh, not doable that is not sustainable okay so you are focusing on sustainability of doing something that is going to fetch you this energy of nine of pentacles and nine of pentacles is all about having that luxury around you effortlessly okay it's the luxury of time it's the luxury of money um uh, it's you know you are basically you know working on building your wealth building your finances starting something new taking baby steps towards it with a lot of practical sense with a lot of learning with a lot of uh you know you the knowledge that you have gained all these years and you're putting it into practical use but you're not doing it in a very you know haphazard or irrational way probably you started with a lot of different ideas but then later on i see that you are picking one of these ideas and moving with a lot of uh you know confidence and maturity maturity is the energy that is strongly coming up in this reading what are you finally achieving with this what is it that you are finally achieving with this what is the outcome the outcome is strength whatever you have worked on you will be surprised that how no matter how difficult the road was no matter how difficult the path was you will realize that you attained that goal with a lot of you know divine intervention with a lot of divine grace and a lot of you know you attained that power with a lot of calm and peaceful energy which is very contrasting you know you have been aggressive in your work you have been a uh, very very uh, motivated very very determined uh, with a strong will power you have been putting uh, all your efforts into this but you did all of it with a lot of calm and a lot of grace and a lot of groundedness because you had uh, a strong spirit supporting this uh, wild uh you know motivation on this wild drive that strong will power that you have so there is some kind of an angelic intervention some kind of an angelic divine energy that is coming in and helping you have that uh you know strong wild will power that you have to channel it in a way that you achieve your goals effortlessly so that is the outcome very very beautiful and all of it is happening by you know maximum i would say uh by the end of september you you are achieving something concrete you are achieving something very very uh you are strong i see that you are strongly getting a very uh clear idea and a clear validation of what path you are on and that is what you're going to continue uh next for quite some time now so the next one month is going to be very very crucial for those of you who are set on the path of setting a road map to find that financial stability that is going to set you free for the rest of your lives so that is the core of this reading 
Now let me have a look at this wax again. And I see that, you know, an angel is nurturing a baby. Someone is nurturing another person. So I see this energy coming through, okay? The strength energy coming through where, uh, you know, an angelic being is helping you focus your uh, your energies. It's helping you channel your energies in a way that you accomplish your goals. So there is definitely a divine intervention, a divine help, angelic help coming towards you so that you achieve uh, what you have set for yourself. And that is the reading for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you like this reading. And um, thank you for watching. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.